I'm the oldest of five kids and I was just solo for a while so I had to entertain myself. Did a lot of traveling. I was lucky to just work a bunch of odd jobs in different places around the country and through meeting people and through traveling that just kept me on this path of trying to tell stories with color and hungry to gather more stories and use that as inspiration for my artwork. I grew up dancing as my first introduction to the artistic world and I think my background in dance really influences my paintings. Yeah, I kind of made the transition and painting kind of took over my life. I've had a sketchbook with me since I was maybe 16 walking around with it and every time I start a new sketchbook I write a new list of goals or even just guidelines of how I want to live. Yeah, just trying to get to the root of what we all feel and experience and I want to make something that everybody can kind of step into and feel like they are a part of. The composition of this mural was based on a book called The Color of Water by James McBride and that was chosen from a long list of books that were given this award called the Annisfield Wolf Award which is given to writers who focus in on social injustices and racism. It's kind of a memoir of, of James McBride but also uh, an interview of his mother and used the story that James McBride told to create a composition that kind of broke down the essence of his story and his mother's story throughout the book. We had a lot of back and forth with Land Studio and kind of settled on this idea and I feel like it was a really concise abstraction of what the story is about in my style. I chose an author that I connected with and that was Jericho Brown. Yeah, I just really connected to his words and then there was a few different quotes that kind of inspired the image that came about, which is a scene of people dancing and embracing one another. The main quote that inspired that was lovers hustle, slide, and dip as if none of them have a brother in prison. So you can see this kind of the reality and the truth underneath, but then still embracing love and finding one another within that. I think it's really important to acknowledge our existence, like not just mine, but the people that I get to interact with. And so it's all just kind of marking points in time and providing proof that like, I'm here right now, you're here, we're sharing this space. And even if it's a small little painting, here's proof that we were, we were here in this place. So many people are like, just so happy to see human life and love and color and all of that in a space that they are walking past every day and feeling like they can feel more comfortable and safe and loved in that space. There was one comment in particular that stuck with me and made me feel like this is all, this is all why I do what I do, it was an older man and he said, your artwork makes me feel like love isn't dead. Yeah. That just meant the world to me. That made everything, all the hard work, like all of it worth it. To have one person just feel like, yeah, love's alive and people are out here caring about it, one another. The goal in life is just to spread as much color as I can and continue to tell important stories and make work that is really soulful and feels true. So a little bit of that. <laughs>